Hey guys, it's John Hedger here, back with another episode of Mega Man 2. In the last time, we defeated the Boo Beam Trap and the Guts Tank. This time, we're going to be doing the Boss Rush. Also, before I begin, I thought I'd mention, um, this is another thing that uh, Mega Man 2 introduced in the series. Uh, the standard Boss Rush. This is how the Boss Rush is going to be every single game up in the series, including the X-Series and onward. Um, we had a Boss Rush in the first game, but it didn't look like this, so here we go. First boss, here we go. First boss is Heat Man. Which I, is weak to the bubble, but I don't want to use the bubble too much, so I'm going to use... Like I said, remember when I said there's alternative weaknesses? Oh, uh, well, every, every single boss minus one, I believe, has, a, has an alternative weakness. This one is... Air, Heat Man is also weak to the, the quick boomerang and the air shot. Out. Uh. Anytime you hit him with, an, with this, he just does this. It's really easy. Oh. Oh. I didn't think he was going to go that way. Oh yes, and I do drop uh, life energy too. So yes, that, that just shows up they have they have alternative weaknesses. Uh, yes. So uh, anyways, next Maverick, Airman. Okay, this one we're going to need Woodman's weakness, Woodman's weapon. I mean, I always get hit by these things. Ah. Uh, Oh well, we didn't need it anyways. Next one is Woodman. Woodman is weak to his alternative weaknesses are the atomic fire, the air shooter, and the crash bomb. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we have enough crash bomb, but we can try anyways. Yeah. Um. Let's try the air shooter on him next. And that that was terrible. Oh. Up. There we go. Like I said, I'm gonna show up all the all the all the alternative weaknesses and plus this will this will help me save for what's to come. Cause trust me, I'm sick. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to save the metal blade for this next for the final for the final boss. Because the final boss is weak to the metal blade, or at least the next boss we're gonna be fighting anyways. Hey, anyway, here is Bubble Man. Bubble Man is weak to the crash bomb and the quick boomerang. So arm your quick boomerangs. Yeah, and this is his attack, by the way. Ah, dang it. Also, I don't really care if I die either because... Well, I have like 8 lives, so if I die, it's okay. I'm gonna try and keep dying to a minimum, though. Here's Quick Man, he's weak to the, flat, to the Time Stopper. We don't really need a Time Stopper because it's not anything that the final boss speak to, so I don't mind using that one. He is also weak to the uh, air shooter, the atomic fire, and the crash bomb. I might just let him kill me, because, like I said, I have like a ton of... I have a ton of lives, so I don't mind losing a life. In, in, my, in my experience, it's, easy, it's better to just lose a life than, than waste an E-tank. It's better to just lose a life. Up. Ah, dang it. If I can never hit him, that'd be nice. Uh. Uh. Dang it. Dang it. In my opinion, this is a lot, a lot harder fight than the, than the other one because of the fact that. Um, 
that there's not there's, there's not the platforms that you got from when we first fought uh, Quick Man. So that's what makes this fight, in my opinion, a bit harder. So instead of a rematch against Quick Man, it'll be harder than the re than the regular one. Anyways, up next is Crash Man. This one, this is the only this is the only Rumble Master that's only weak to one weapon, which is the air shot air shooter. So fortunately, dang it. Fortunately, he only takes two shots to take down, so he's not too bad from the air shooter. Up next we have Metal Man. Now here's the funny part. Metal Man is weak to his own weapon. He's weak to his own weapon. Of course, I could show you. Actually, you know what? You know what? I will show you. Hold up. Yeah, one shot by his own weapon. Yeah. By his own weapon. And last but certainly not least, Flashman. Flashman is weak to the atomic fire, the crash bomb, and the bubble lead. Um, you know what? Uh, I guess I'll show up the, the atomic fire. I'll show off the atomic fire since I didn't show it off in Woodman. Because I could have done it in Woodman's level, but. I decided not to. This is what I mean by... This is what I mean by, it's like the fat, it's the, uh, the one, the one, uh, move in the game that can be charged. There we go. And now he is down. And now for the final boss. Brace yourselves, guys. And yes, and trust me when I say this. I um, this is an optimal setting. You definitely want to have all all the stuff, all the eats, all the uh, things. You you want to use the metal blade for this entire fight, for this entire battle. Ah, dang it! I am going to use one right now. This is why I came prepared. Like I said, this whole entire boss is weak to the, uh... Come on, die, thank you. Alright! And now we just have one more level to go through. And with three E-Tanks to go and a full bubble lead, because the final boss, that wasn't the final boss. This next one is the final boss. Because Wily escaped. Anyways, so this next one, that this is why I, I never used the bubble lead. Because there were some robot masters that were weak to the bubble lead. I never used it because this next boss is only the only weakness this next boss has is the bubble lead, so you want to you want to keep a full stock of these. And watch out for this acid or else it, it will hurt. It will hurt you. So be careful of that. But yep, we're coming to the end of Mega Man 2. Coming to the end. Alright, here we go. Here's the final boss. Oh my gosh, there's an alien! Alright. All he does this entire thing, he floats around and shoots a plasma shots at you, and he's only weak in the bubble lead, so you wanna you want to uh, aim yeah, I wanna be really close to him, but not too close to him to where he's gonna hit you. Yeah, if you get if he hits you with his body then you're then it, you take a lot of damage. Fortunately, since I have the rewind button, I don't really have to worry about getting hit by him. Uh, if you're playing on the Legacy Collection, I highly recommend doing that. If not, then you're just going to have to memorize his pattern. Because he does have a pattern. Because he does the same thing. He just shoots in a figure eight motion. But yeah, this is the final boss. And the reason why I say I know from experience, there was one, there was one run I did of Mega Man 2 where I actually got to this boss 
and as soon as I fought him, I was out of bubble lead because I had used all bubble lead um, before I got to this boss, and I had to restart the entire game because I was stuck here. So that's why I made it a point to not use any of the bubble lead before we got here. And one more hit and should be down. And we win. We did it, guys. Just in time, too. All right. And all along was Wily the entire time. That was Mega Man 2. And that's Mega Man 2, guys. Now we get to this iconic scene. Yeah, this is a... Uh, there's a reason why Mega Man 2 was the game that, that put Mega Man on the map. Like, this is the game that revolutionized the series. Like I said, a lot of the things that were put in this game uh, were made better in the later, in the later games. So yeah. But anyways, hope y'all enjoyed. I know I did. And uh, yeah, I will say this. What's funny for the recording? This is probably the easiest time I've ever had with with Mega Man 2. Because uh, when I when I did it, uh, just to play through it, I had a hard time with the with the last three bosses. But uh, I somehow managed to power through it. So yeah. Anyways. Mega Man looks off into the, into the distance, and we see this this beautiful scene with the hat, with the helmet, I should say, just, there, just off in the distance. And here's the roll call. Number nine, Metal Man. Yeah, Metal Man. Number ten, Air Man. Number eleven, Bubble Man. Number 12, Quick Man. Number 13, Crash Man. By the way, this is the first time that we've ever seen like the Robot Masters being named out in the credits. Flash Man, number 14. <coughs> number 15, Heat Man. And uh, number 16, Wood Man. And that's it, guys. Well, anyways, um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this game. I really like it. Um, I can't wait for other ones. This is probably, if I were to say anything about Mega Man 2, it's, it's actually one of my favorite, one of my, one of my favorite Mega Man games. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite of all time. I mean, there, because in my opinion, there are games that are better than Mega Man 2, but it's, it's definitely up there. It's definitely one of the, it's a game that I can, I can replay. I can go back and play again. So, yeah. But anyways, here's all the credits. And, uh, yeah. But anyways, uh, next, next time on the Mega Man Legacy Collection, we will be doing Mega Man 3. Which, uh, basically, you just, uh, it takes what Mega Man 2 did and it adds some more stuff to it. Like, uh, there's some advanced movement and stuff. Anyways, if you'd like this, uh, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment on the screen. Hit that notification bell for some more awesome content. Alright guys.